myself Timir Choksi. I am assistant professor in LGIT. Student, welcome to session number two of module of COWS. So, in this particular session, student, I have explained a few topics of this chapter. So, first topic is a relation between the radius and degree of a curve, and second formula of elements of simple circular curve and its example. Student, I have explained in the first session. What is a curve? Explain about the what is a curve, means definition. I have explained about the different type of curves like horizontal and vertical curve. And I have explained about the elements of simple circular curve. So you have you have watched the first video. Then after watching this video, here in this video I have covered a formula of element of simple circular curve. But better understanding of the formula of elements of simple circular curve, first you have understanding the relation between the radius and degree of curve because in a curve there are two major important elements one is the radius and one is the degree so in this video i have explained what is the relation between them and i have explained about the formula of element of simple circular curve i have already explained all the element in a previous video in session number one so here i have taken only uh, simple circular uh, simple circular formula with simple elements of the simple circular formula and its example so now i will explain first uh, relation between the radius and degree of curve so better understanding you have first uh, understand the designation of the curve so i have let us the discussion of the designation of a curve designation means you know that your designation is a student my designation is the assistant professor so Cow's designation is that there are two types, one depending upon the arc definition and core definition. So first, in a Great Britain, the sharpness of the curve is designation by the radius of the curve. While in India and many countries, a curve designation by the degree of curvature. So here in India, the curves are designation by the degree of curvature. So there are two designation of the curve, one is the radius of the curve. And second is the designation by the degree of the curve. Now, there are two different definitions of degree of curvature. One is the arc definition, one is the core definition. So, depending upon the standard length of the arc and standard length of the chord, so there are two types of, uh, two elements or two definition to describe the curve. So, first arc definition. According to the arc definition, degree of curvature is defined as the angle in degrees subtended by an arc of standard length. This definition is generally used in a highway practice. The length of the standard arc used in FPS means was 100 feet in SI is taken as 30 meter. Some people are taking it, it 20 meter also. So here depending upon the length of the standard arc, I means length of the arc is a standard length is taken as this 100 feet in SI but nowadays you are using a uh, unit is a meter so taken as the 30 meter and some people means some uh, some highway designing some people is taken as a 20 meter also but particular use in a nowadays is a, a standard arc length is a 30 meter so this is a standard length 30 meter so first definition is based on the arc definition now second similar that According to the chord definition, degree of curvature is defined as the angle in degree subtended by chord of standard length. So this is a standard length. So here you know that what is a curve length? So it is the distance between the point of tangency to the point of curvature. Here chord is a distance between straight distance, straight distance between the point of curvature to point of tangency. So nowadays similar that. Uh, chord distance is taken as a 30 meter and some people are using the 20 meter. Generally chord definition is uh, used in a railway construction and uh, arc definition is used in a highway construction. So this is a designation of the curve. Now understanding the designation of the curve, now I have explained about the relation between the radius and degree of curve. So here you know that there are two major elements used in a curve. One is a radius and one is a degree. So now I have explained relation between them. So here 
these uh, I have taken assume that or taken as the 30 meter or 20 meter arc that means length of curve here I have only uh, taken as a arc definition not a chord definition but I have proved that in a you have taken a chord definition you have uh, proved that same formula but here in this particular session I have taken only arc definition so here I have taken the length of the curve is around 30 meter to 20 meter this is a degree now d, uh, degree be the d means uh, the angle of subtend by an arc of 30 meter here I have taken the arc is a 30 meter assume that the r is a radius of the curve total circumference of the circle you know that is a 2 pi r so arc of the circumference make an angle you have taken the degree equal to means here you have angle equal to 360 divided by 2 pi r into 30 because here taken the length of curve is 30 so you have put the value or solve this formula so answer is degree equal to 10800 by 2 pi r so you have simplified the formula and calculation so I give the answer degree equal to 1718.9 divided by r so this is the relation between the radius and degree of the curve you have taken the 20 meter when you have taken the 20 meter so your answer is 1146 divided by r so this is the uh, relation between the radius and degree of curve depending upon the arc definition you have taken the arc is 30 meter okay so now after the understanding the designation of the curve and relation between the radius and degree of curve now you already uh, I, you have a uh, understanding of the formula of element of simple circular curve so i will explain in detail all the formula of the all the elements you, you know that i have already explained in a previous video all the element in detail so first you have watched the first video first session and you have understanding the all the element then you have start this video and understanding the elements of the formula of the elements of the simple circular curve so now these are the different elements like a point of curvature, point of tangency, back tangent, forward tangent, length of curve, long curve, radius, central angle, point of intersection, all the elements I have already explained in a previous session. So first you have draw the figure and describe the all the elements. Now you start the formula, derive the formula. So first length of the curve means L. You know that this is the length of the curve. Length of the curve means the arc distance between T1 to T2. So you have uh, solved the formula. You know that let the length of the curvature T1 C T2. T1 C T2. We are clearly seen T1 C T2. So is R is a radius. So L equal to small L. Here uh, note the point is a small L. Small L equal to R into delta. So R into delta into pi by 180 degree where delta in it is a, in a degree so first formula you will remember r into delta into pi by 180 now tangent length so you know that what is a tangent length so this is a tangent length so tangent length means i t1 similar that i t1 similar that i t2 so you have described the r into tan delta by 2 because you have taken a one triangle so you clearly find this formula here i have taken the triangle t1 i o so this is a big triangle you have taken so you have find the easily i t1 distance so i t1 i have find r into tan delta by 2 now length of the long chord so you know that what is the long chord so this is a straight distance between t1 and t2 so here you have find the long chord so t1 and t2 so first you have find the and take the triangle t1 t o so you have find the length of t1 to d then you have multiply by 2 so you have to find the length of long chord is t1 in, uh, uh, t1 t2 so here l equal to 2 into r sin delta by 2 so here this is a delta by 2 because whole angle is delta so here half angle is delta by 2 so you have taken the triangle t1 d o so you easily find the l l capital l means length of the long chord so 2 into r sin delta by 2 so l equal to 2r sin delta by 2 so this is uh, this is the uh, this in, a, in this slide i have 
explain the three formula length of the curve, tangent length and length of the long curve. Now next formula is the mid ordinate. So here you know that this is the mid ordinate means CD. So CD you have taken the uh, CO means here I have already draw the line in a yellow color. So CO minus DO. So you have find the CO. You know that what is the distance is CO. So CO is the radius. So R and you have find the distance is a DO. DO. So DO you have find that the, you have taken the triangle T1 DO and so find the DO. So the our mid ordinate formula is M equal to R means R is common 1 minus cos delta by and fifth number formula external distance or apex distance. So external distance you know that this is IC. IC. So IO minus CO. CO is already you know that uh, R sec delta by 2 and CO, uh, IO is the R. So you have put the for, uh, value of IO and CO and get the formula of E. So E equal to R sec delta by 2 minus 1. So this is the fourth number formula is a mid ordinate and fifth is an external distance. Now last formula is sixth number change of the tangent point. So you have find the T1 and T2 point. So you have find the first you have find the change of I total and minus tangent line. So you have find the point of the curve is point of the curvature and find the point of the tangency. So you have you have take the value change of T1 means point of the curvature plus you have addition of the value of length of the curve so you get the change of T2. So this is the formula element of elements of the simple circular curve. So you have a better understanding I have taken one example. So first example compute the value of following components of simple circular curve and so then in this detail in sketch. So you have find the length of the curve, tangent length, length of long, long chord, of apex distance means external distance and uh, mid ordinate. So take a radius of curve is 300 meter means R equal to you have taken the 300 meter and deflection angle is uh, taken in a 40 degree. So you have taken the deflection angle 40 degree. So similar that opposite angle, this is a similar angle 40 degree. So you have find all the elements like length of the curve means small l, small l, length tangent length means capital T, length of the long curve means capital L, apex distance means E and mid ordinate you have the find. So you know that I have already explained all the formula. So directly you have put the value of delta and R means deflection angle and radius all this formula and you have find the all the value of uh, given in data. So length of the curve first you have find you know that R into delta delta is a 40 degree so put the value in a this formula so you get the answer 209.44 meter similar that tangent length you have find R into 10 delta by 2 so you have find the tangent length similar that length of the long chord apex distance and mid ordinate so only you have simply sim simple only you have put the all the value means there are two only two the uh, value is given is R and one is a delta. So put the value of R and deflection angle delta and get the answer. Now our question is compute the value of following components of simple circular curve and so they have in a detailed sketch. So you have put the, all the answer in a uh, particular in this figure. So I have here uh, draw the figure and first you have put the value of T, uh, unit is compulsory you have written. So here I, have, I forget but you not for, uh, forget uh, written the meter unit. So T equal to 109.19, 205.21 meter, 19.25 meter. So you get the answer of all this you have put down in this figure. So this is the about the example number one. Similar that I have taken a second example only one change are there. You have find the change of point of tangency and curvature. So same all the for all the procedure is same. Only you have changed the radius is here given 275 meter and delta equal to 24 degree. So you have find the, all the elements here. Return is a first tangent length, uh, length of the curve, 
length of the long chord apex distance here not find the given a find the mid ordinate so you uh, don't uh, find the mid ordinate because here you have find the only four four terms length of the curve tangent length length of long chord and apex distance you know that all the formula you have remember in a previous slide now only there are two change one is a change cha changeage of the point of curvature and you have find the changeage of point of the tangency so you here you know that you have find the t1 so uh, what is a method of to find the t1 so you know that our changeage is given here 1400 so two tangent intersect at a 40 four, uh, 1400 meter so this changeage and this changeage is a 1400 meter so here you know that this is a value of 1400 and you have find the t1 value so you have minus the 58.45 it is a tangent distance so i get the point of the uh, curvature so changeage of i minus tangent length so 1400 minus 58.45 so you get the answer 13.41.55 meter yeah here, here for not forget the unit so this is a meter and last fifth number uh, sorry six changeage of point of tangency so you have find the t2 sorry one minute t2 so you have find the t2 so you know that you get the answer of changeage of t1 t1 answer is a 13.41 so you have find the changeage of t2 so you have addition of the length of the curve so you have reached the or the changeage of the t2 so 1341.55 plus 115.19 so here i have give the uh, simplify the formula changeage of the pc means point of curvature plus l small l this is not i this is a small l length of curve so 13.30 plus 115.19 so answer is 14.1456.74 meter so this is the change of point of tangency and this is the change of the curvature so this is the same example only two change are there and then you after the all the sketch you know that all the data is uh, all the answer is written in the in this particular figure so student this is the about the all the uh, al formula of elements of the simple circular curve and i have taken the two example and I, in this video student i have explained about the uh, radi relation between the radius and degree of the curve and uh, i have explained about the formula of elements of simple circular curve so thank you so much watching this video